AITA for accidentally calling out a new colleague on lying about her language skills? I am not op. Original post by you, throw fries country in our amethyst hole. An NBSP. AITA for accidentally calling out a new colleague on lying about her language skills? The 20th of February 2021. Last week a new colleague, Kathy. 33F. Started at my. 25F. Workplace. She instantly stood out in the team. Because she seems like someone who is very. Loud and assertive? Two of my colleagues. Me and Kathy were having coffee in the break room. We were the only ones in there and we were sitting far apart. When the subject of travel was brought up. My colleague said she wasn't booking trips anymore because it'll probably get cancelled because of. COVID anyway. Kathy immediately cut in about how sad she is because she travels so often and she goes on these far exotic trips to Europe as her hobby. When I think exotic I think the Bahamas or something instead of Europe but cool. Kathy then jokes about how all this, no travel business, is making her fear that she'll lose some of her foreign language skills. I asked what languages she spoke. She claimed to be fluent in three European languages, among which were French and Dutch. Kathy said she was at a native speaker level and went on about how people in Europe were always surprised when they found out she wasn't from there. I was excited because I never get to speak Dutch over here. I was raised in Belgium, which has three national languages, French and Dutch which are my mother tongues and the most commonly spoken there. And German. It's quite common to be pretty fluent in at least two out of the three languages in Belgium. Because you're required to learn them at school. Along with English. From a young age. I told Kathy, oh Luke. Dan Heben we ietes hemein chapelic. Quote. Oh fun. We have something in common then. Quote. She immediately pulled this sour face and asked me if that was supposed to be Dutch. I said yes. She laughed awkwardly and said she couldn't understand because I have a terrible accent and must not be that good at speaking it. Now see. I don't have an accent. I speak Dutch more fluently than I speak English. I told Kathy that I grew up speaking Dutch and speak it to my family all the time. She got miffed and asked what languages I speak and where I'm from. I told her I'm from Belgium. So I also speak French and I added, which you just said you speak as well. Cool. We can speak French instead. I acknowledge that I was a bit of a dick here. Because by that point I knew she probably lied about speaking French as well. She then shoved her chair back and angrily got up said, whatever, and stomped off. It was awkward. My other colleagues just kinda shrugged and said she shouldn't have lied. However, she later approached me and told me I embarrassed her by acting, superior, about my European heritage. I told her there was no way for me to know she'd lied about speaking those languages. She rolled her eyes and told me I was immature. A colleague told me that Kathy had called me a little b-word who enjoys bullying new colleagues. Behind my back later. I don't think I was a bully at all. But I don't want this to turn into a huge thing. Do I just apologize to keep the peace? AITA? Verdict. NTA. Edit 1. I'm not sure about escalating this to HR. Which a lot of people have told me I have to do. I feel like this might make me look immature to the rest of my colleagues. Of which I am the youngest. And it might not need to go that far. It depends on if Kathy is willing to put this behind her and be professional. If all else fails I do have, witnesses, who would be honest about what happened. So I think I might be in the clear if she tries to twist the story. Edit 2. Some people have taken offense to me, giving the Bahamas as an example of an exotic place and are trying to make this into a race issue. I didn't know exotic was an offensive term in the US. Do I think of the Netherlands, Belgium, England, Norway, 
which were countries she was describing as being faraway exotic destinations. As my idea of an exotic trip? No, not because there's a lot of white people there, but because when I think of exotic I think of a place with nice sunny weather, white sand beaches and a blue ocean. Maybe it's because I'm from Belgium, but I don't really feel like being in my home country where it's dark and rainy all the time is quite that experience. Edit 3. Some people think she might not have understood me because she is fluent in Dutch, but learned it in the Netherlands, which has different accents. While it is true that the Netherlands and Flanders have different accents, I didn't speak a very specific dialect like West Flemish or something. I spoke the general Dutch you'd see in the news in Flanders. I didn't speak quickly to try and make it incomprehensible to set her up. I genuinely believed she spoke Dutch because that's what she was saying. So I talked to her in normal, conversational Dutch. The same kind of Dutch I'd use in a work environment back in my home country. The same kind of Dutch I use with friends from the Netherlands. But with a soft, G, lol. An NBSP. Update. AITA for accidentally calling out a new colleague on lying about her language skills? The 14th of June 2021. So a couple of months ago things went down with a new colleague who was lying about her language. Skills. Many people gave the advice to go to HR. Others said not to go to HR because that would be escalating the situation. I decided not to go to HR right then. But I did take the advice to write down what happened. With the time and the names of the other colleagues present just in case. I thought the situation might blow over because Kathy was probably just embarrassed. Well, I was wrong. Kathy kept being cold to me, rolling her eyes at me in meetings and talking behind my back. Another colleague came to confront me at one point to ask me why I'd been so mean. Apparently Kathy was telling a different version of what happened. Kathy said that I'd said mean things to her in Dutch and was making fun of her in Dutch so no one else but her could understand. She was smart enough to only tell these stories to colleagues who weren't actually there for it. Word got around and it turned into a bigger issue, with a couple people actually questioning my character. Mostly just colleagues that don't work very close to me. HR got wind of it after a while and I got called in close to a month after the incident. They had already met with Kathy and she told them that she cursed me out in Dutch and was very mean to me, story. I told them the full story and everything that happened after. They asked me if there was anyone else present who could confirm this. So those colleagues came and told them that Kathy had lied about speaking a language. Stormed out and then started calling me a B word etc. To others, they thanked me for my time and I got on with work. Nothing happened until a week later when I was informed that Kathy was asked to leave. Apparently Kathy had doubled down on the lies and told everyone I was the one lying and she did speak those languages. So my boss told her in that case she'd have no problem talking to one of our Canadian colleagues who wasn't involved in the situation in French in front of him. Just to confirm, at this point Kathy admitted she had been lying. It turned out she didn't speak a word of French either, or Norwegian, which was the third language she was lying about. This was enough for them to let her go, because part of the reason they hired her was that they were so impressed by her speaking multiple languages and work experiences she'd had abroad. The work experiences were made up as well. I'm just happy it's over. I'm confident it wasn't really my fault it blew up now. If it wasn't me who caught her in a lie, someone else probably would have down the line. The few people who kinda believed her ended up coming to me and apologizing for questioning me about what happened. So that's all sorted. Edit. Some people asking why they didn't test her language skills in the hiring process. Our jobs don't actually require us to speak Dutch, French or Norwegian. I think they probably just saw it as a plus, or something that made her stand out from other 
Candidates. An NBSP. Reminder I am not the original poster. Feels like everyone who lies about speaking a language always ends up in this situation. If she was lying and then doubling down on the lies about something as inconsequential as this. Who knows what else she might lie about. Why lie about knowing a language? How can you not foresee that lie blowing up in your face? LOL. Similar experiences keep happening to me at work. I speak some conversational German. My mom was German and I can keep up mostly. Had a new colleague claim she was fluent in German. So they stuck me and her in a meeting with German-speaking clients and our manager. During our prep for said meeting it turned she can barely speak German. Maybe hello, goodbye, and how are you? Then she floundered and I had to step in for said meeting with my barely conversational German. Which luckily was happily taken in by our clients. It didn't go over well with our manager. What a bizarre hill to die on for Kathy. Especially with the added info that those languages were simply a plus for her hiring. Rather than a requirement. Had she not gone on a gossip offensive, and instead simply let the matter blow over, no one from HR would have thought to ask Oop for their side of the story. A sheepish embarrassed Kathy would be a still-employed Kathy. When anyone asks me what my conversational level is in French, a language of my northern neighbors which I've made an effort to learn, I tell them, enough to make a cab driver laugh but not enough to accurately describe my destination. I'm fluent in Spanish. It's my first language and I grew up speaking it. That being said, even I hesitate on putting fluent down on a job app because I worry my writing and reading skills aren't as good as my speaking skills. The fact that people lie about multiple languages and don't worry about being caught is wild to me. Why do people lie about knowing a different language? Heck, a lot of the people I know who do speak more than one usually downplay it by saying, I'm sorry for my less than language and the proceed to speak in the most eloquent way possible. A woman started talking to me in the checkout line in Whole Foods. I asked her where she was from since she had an accent. She said Norway. So I got excited and started speaking to her in Norwegian. Since you don't find that many Norwegians in North Carolina. I asked her where she was from in Norway. In Norwegian. She didn't understand me. So I asked her in Russian where she was from. She got really mad and started demanding why I was speaking to her in that language. I told her because I knew she was Russian. There is no mistaking Russians for Norwegians. Ooh she was mad. I guess she had been getting away with this, I'm from Norway, lie in North Carolina for quite a while. There was something sketchy about her whole shtick. Sorry, but I absolutely must link this video to this story. I'll never understand the lying about languages you speak or understand. My first language is Czech. Then English. Then Hebrew. It's ridiculous the amount of times people pretend they speak one of them. But don't. They're obscure. I know. You don't have try and impress me. I can read Spanish and Arabic. But speaking it sounds like I'm a gorilla with a tablet. Own up to it. I'll never understand why people feel the need to lie or embellish their knowledge of languages. Especially when it's ultimately going to come back and bite you at some point. Though from what I saw from people at school, it's those who brag about the languages they supposedly speak, that actually don't speak them well. Or at all. As a Bahamian I'm not offended but I wouldn't describe my country as exotic lol. I agree with all the advice about not reporting this to HR. The initial situation wouldn't warrant it and it truly could add fuel to the office politics fire. Oop was already in. Co-workers perceive she is needlessly escalating. 
When it comes to not reporting to HR there are two components. The first, is it a big issue which puts you at legal or employment risk? This situation was not. The second is if HR gets involved at a later date can you protect yourself or make it into a non-issue? I lied about riding horses when I was like 9 and sprained my ankle trying to get on one. Girl, she could have just laughed, nodded, then pretended to go blank like, see, I've lost my touch. Laugh again and never ever bring it up. Maybe even take up a side and be like, okay listen, I haven't spoken it in a long time and I never really was that good. Between me and you, okay? And laugh it off. But no, had to be a dick. I regularly tell people that I absolutely can speak Spanish. As long as you don't care too much about grammar. Talk slow if we're on the phone. And accept that I may only understand 93% of the words. I've long since given up on correct grammar. It's very freeing. I speak very little German. Enough to get around town and know what I am ordering at a restaurant. I was in a store one day in the US and heard two ladies talking in German. Being the dork that I am I asked them in German if they were just visiting or if they lived in the US. For about two seconds they were really excited that I spoke German until I had to spill the beans. That I in fact do not speak German nearly as well as I just pretended to. With me, it's French. I have a fairly good conversational French. Good enough to have a philosophical discussion about the spread of language from India and comparing the way religions followed a similar evolution at a French roadside restaurant in the south of France. But I have to use some franglais. I would struggle in a French working environment. I haven't any idea what the French is for. Stapler, or, staples. Also my French is mid-70s teenager, sedated with atrocious grammar. But I would never claim to speak it well enough in a working environment. I might be able to understand fast-spoken French, Belgian, Quebecois to be able to participate in lively discussion but professionally? No way. Dr. Kathy Ekt dat z hire niet op betrap zo worden? I remember this one. Nice ending. Kathy probably went into politics. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.